All right, folks, um, welcome back to a little mini series I've decided to do. Um, basically, we're going to look at how to make Pac-Man. OK, so um, obviously, you know, everyone's familiar with Pac-Man. It's one of the most iconic games of all time. So why not try build it in Unreal Engine and see what we can get from it? OK, so um, yeah, so we'll start off by opening up a new project. All right, we're going to work in the third person template just because the controller is already set up there. So it's pretty handy. Um, I'm going to do blueprints, keep it desktop, quality preset, maximum, starter content, all good. And we'll call this Pac-Man. And we'll get it open. So here's my projects. Okay, so I like to keep my content browser docked in the layout. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Bring it back. Um, I also like to keep my outliner. Up here in the right, details and world settings below it, okay? Also, when I'm testing out, um, I like to play an editor. So the new editor window, which is this window. But I'm going to escape for now. And what we'll do is um, there's going to be a link in the description, okay? Um, but basically, I will just pull the screen over for you. I have Sketchfab is still operational. And in here, there's a little Pac-Man model, pretty basic. It has a little animation. Do the job, okay? It's 30,000 triangles, which isn't ideal, but, you know, there's not much goes into this game, so we should be able to, it, it will suffice, okay? If you want to make your own model, by all means, do that. Maybe at the end, I'll do a polish, um, but it's more about getting the mechanics implemented, okay, and just getting the actual game play um working all right anyway i'll put the link in the description um from luol studio so thank you very much for making this model um i haven't asked for permission or anything i don't really think i need to it's just a little model up here for free download anyway okay so I'll close that down um i already have downloaded it so i'm gonna right click new folder and i'm just gonna call it pacman oh sorry pacman and inside, I'm just going to bring in the download that I have, which is Pac-Man Eat. That's all it comes with it, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong. Yeah, it was just the source, yeah. Cool. I'm just going to import as is. It'll come in with his animations as well. I need to change the material. It's just come in all white here, okay? Now, I'm not a massive... You know, I'm, I'm not really into sorting out materials and that. I played around with some of them in the past. I'm going to just open up the Pac-Man material. And I'm going to click on this constant. Click on the little color bar. Make it yellow. How do I make it a bit? And let's see what we come up with here. All right. Yeah, sure, that'll do. Save. Close this. I'm going to open up the third person character blueprint and we're going to make some changes here. Okay. So, first of all, what we will do is we'll click on our viewport and we will select our camera boom. And then over on the right hand side, we will uncheck these boxes in camera settings. Okay. Then I'll press E to rotate or just click the little icon and I'll rotate it in minus 90 degrees. The arm length, I'm going to double it. You can play around with this later, but 800 seems to be decent. I'm also going to enable a little bit of a camera lag. I mean, it's set to 10 there. We can test that out, see how it's going. Um, I'm going to click on the skeletal mesh, and I'm going to replace it with our Pac-Man 8. <laughs> it's pretty big. I'm going to rotate it 90. And I'm um, probably going to make it a bit smaller, too. That's not rotated fully, right? There we go. Make it a bit smaller. Um, and then move it into place. So now if I press play, still not straight. I can move the mouse as well, which I'm going to turn off. Oh, we got something here. Press escape. Go to the event graph, guys, okay? And you'll see camera input. I'm just going to hold down the Alt key and left click on the execution pin just to unplug that. Now, if I press play, I can't move my mouse. I can only do WASD keys or direction keys. I can also jump, which I'm going to take away later. 
I basically just want to get the animation working. So that is a little bit off. It needs a bit more rotation. So in moments like that, what you can do is, um, well, let's go to the viewport first. I'm going to make this window a bit smaller. Okay. I'm just going to look as, as if I was looking up, you know, looking down myself on the character. All right. I'm going to press the three dots and use selected viewport. And I'm going to press F8 to eject from the player. And that way I can do this in real time. So over here, I'll press E, rotate. And I just want to, there we go. It's a little bit off. Let's turn snapping off as well. Uh, there we go. Perfect. All right. So I'll press escape now because I'm in play mode. I can just save, compile that, maximize the window again. Obviously, in here, new ender window. I'm going to go for a little mess around. All right. So, <laughs> I got an open mouth Pac Man moving around. Okay. So, let's get our third person open again. Go to the event graph. Where's our jump? Our jump is here. I'm just going to Alt just to break these pins. Now, if I press the space bar, I cannot jump. I can only move around. Okay. All right. So, that's that bit done. Now we need to create an animation blend space. So, in here, in the Pac-Man folder, I'm going to right-click, create a new folder. I'm going to call it Anims. And I'm going to double-click and open this up. Right click, animation, legacy, blend space 1D. Select Pac Man, eat. I'll just call it BS for blend space. That's the naming convention that Epic have decided that we have to use. BS underscore Pac Man. Um, open that up. And then over on the left, we have our horizontal axis, speed. Ch change the name none to speed, sorry. And the maximum access value, the character movement speed is set to a maximum of 500 by default. So I'll set that to 500. And then over here, I got to hover over these. I think our anim one, that's idle. And then the top animation, I'm going to drop somewhere in the round here. It'll max out at 500, but the reason I put it over here is because I don't want, see the way he's, he's just... He's sort of spamming. I don't want him spamming too much. So that should be fine. I'll press save. And if we need to come back, I'm going to close it. But if we need to come back to it, we will. You know, um, game development, right? Trial and error everywhere. Okay, so that's done. What I want to do now is open up or create an animation blueprint. Select Pac-Man Eat Skeleton. Create. I'm going to call it ABP. Animation blueprint underscore Pac Man. Very basic what to do in here, you know. So right click state machine. I'll call it movement. I'm going to put a default slot in here because maybe later I'm going to make some animation where, you know, he um, has a bigger, you know, mouth to eat. Okay, let's see. Let's put that in there later because animation. Um, Montages <laughs> um, work with default slots. So that's why that's there if anyone is unfamiliar. Double click on movement. And from this entry pin, if I drag off it, add state. I'm just going to call it locomotion because, you know, it's, it's the movement. Locomotion. Crazy movement, eh? Open this up. Now my blend space is in orange over here in the asset browser. I can drag and drop this on top of the result. And then where it says speed, I'm going to right click, promote to a variable. And then go to the event graph. I need to get the velocity of the player to store it in a in a in in into this speed variable so it will work. So try get pawn owner, come off the return value, um, get velocity. If I could spell velocity, it's the one that's highlighted. And then from the blue pin, type in vector length. And then just get the variable that we just created, drop it on top of the execution pin of the top node. 
and then just plug the return value from vector length into speed. Press compile. No errors, that's good. Press play. How'd that get there? I press W. Oh, duh. Go back to third person character blueprint. Um, you can, I mean, you don't have to click on the viewport, but you can if you want. I am also going to move this into the, uh, into the capsule. Because later on, we're going to need collision. We will change the capsule size in a moment or so. I just want to get this working. So up here, you got your animation anim class. Just select that and you'll see ABP Pac-Man. Press compile, press play. And when we're moving, we are trying to eat something. I don't know. Did I put that in there by accident? I don't know. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, I must have done. Let's delete that. Press play again. Cool. All right. We got a Pac-Man. Awesome. Um, what else are we going to do? Okay, so we'll control shift s save our work. We'll go third person character blueprint. Open up this again and let's start to make our capsule fit the Pac Man. I'll bring it up a little bit. Okay, so we'll click on the capsule on the left hand side and then you see here you got half height and radius. I'm going to increase this radius and bring down the half height. So we've got a ball surrounding our Pac Man. And then I can just center him. The center's a little off for whoever made the model, I believe. But that is, let's just see. It should work. I want to maybe just increase the radius a little bit um, for when we have events running. So just boom. Oh, no, that won't go. So we go. There we go. All right, I'm also going to just go to visible for the capsule just so we can see it in the game how it's looking. And obviously, we want to collide with the ghosts and we want to eat the food, etc. Um, so I'm just going to untick. Oh, no, sorry, hidden in game. Hidden in game, untick that, compile, press play, and I can see my spheres working here. So it's all there. So obviously, we can interact with other actors in the game. Okay, cool. So that's that section done. So we'll see you in the next one.